Hello everyone. Welcome back. This is puzzle number 91 which we've already solved in the previous video but this is going to be the answer sheet to this puzzle. This is puzzle number 91 from Sudoku to Go volume 105 by Soap Opera Digest and uh, like I said I I've already solved the puzzle in the previous video and that was done in uh, pop quiz style where I um, just filled in the numbers without talking and you were supposed to uh, uh, just follow along see if you could follow why I placed each number so if you haven't seen that video yet go back to that one and watch it if you'd like before you watch this answer sheet Otherwise, we're just going to uh, move forward here. So the first few uh, that I do are pretty straightforward. One goes be there because you've got a one and a one, a one and a one. Here you've got a 2 here and a 2 here. So that's the only cell that doesn't see a 2 yet. Okay, here we've got a 3 and a 3. So one of these has to be a 3 and there's a 3 there. This 4 is the same as that 2 up here. We've got a 4 here and a 4 here, just like we had a 2 here and a 2 here. So we know that's a 4. Okay, now we'll plug in all the rest of the 8s. We've got an 8 here and an 8 here and an 8 here, so that has to be an 8. This is an 8 because there's an 8 here. We've got a wall here, so one of these has to be an 8. So therefore, one of these is an 8. We've got an 8 here and an 8 here. And then because uh, this 8 in this box has to fit up here, and we've got an 8 and an 8 here, that 8 has to go there. There's an 8 here already, 8 here, 8 here, 8 here, so that's an 8. And that fills, that does all, that completes all the 8s. All of 8s are already filled in. Okay, we place that 9 because there's a 9 here, and there's a 9 here, so we have ghost 9s here. So we've got a 9, ghost 9s, so therefore that has to be a 9. Here we've got a 5. Here we've got a 5, so therefore in this box, one of these two has to be a 5, so we have ghost 5s here. So we have a 5 here and ghost 5s here, therefore that's a 5. We've got a 2 there because we've got a, or this is a 2 because we've got a 2 here. Uh, because of this wall, we have ghost 2s here. Therefore, one of these has to be a 2, and there's a 2 there already. Here we've got a 2 and a 2 already in these two columns. So this column needs a 2, and there's a 2 there. So that's a 2. Got a two here and a two here. Two here and a two here. Pretty straightforward. Okay, and at this point, we've we've got all the low-hanging fruit. 
and we're we we could get stuck right here. Uh, we could look around and not really find much at this point. So the next number I place in the pop quiz is this four right here. Now, how did I get that four? Uh, this is probably the trickiest number I placed in this puzzle and at the same time it's it also make, gives us a breakthrough and helps us solve the rest of the puzzle. Okay the way I got this four is I had to go through three different strategies to find it. First of all we have a wall here. We got a four here already so we knew one of these was a four. We didn't know which one yet. We also know one of these is a four. Okay, the next thing that we could do is imagine this four not being here yet. And look at this row right here. What numbers are we missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Three, four, five, seven, nine. Now you'll notice that here we got a three five in this column. So that can't be a three three or five. We got a three and a five here. So this can't be a three or a five. And we've got a three and a five here, so this can't be a three or a five. So we know this is a three or three or five, and this is a three or five. We can't solve those yet, but we know those are twins. We also have, because this is a three or five here, we what do we have missing in this row? Three, four, five, seven, and nine. So we've got a three, four, five, so seven and nine are missing there. Here we've got a three, four, five, seven, nine. So four and seven were missing here. And remember we're imagining not seeing that four yet here. So we got seven and nine there. 7 or 9 there, 4 or 7 there, and here we've got 3, 4, 5, 7, 9, 4, 7, 9. So these are triplets. And when I solved this, I, I noticed these triplets first, and then I noticed these twins right here. Then I noticed that we have 3, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5 in these three columns, so therefore these had to be twins right there. Okay, so anyway, we, I found these two, these twins and triplets, three five twins, four seven nine triplets, and at that point I still didn't, wasn't quite sure what to do here, because we can't solve the triplets or the twins, but then I realized that this was a three or a five, therefore it couldn't be a four, and that's the third step of that strategy. First I found this wall and this four here, so I knew one of these was a four. Second, I found these twins and triplets. And then third, I realized this is, had to be a three or a five, so therefore I knew that was a four. Kind of tricky, but good way to, to find numbers. Okay, so that's how we found that four there. And again, like I said, that was where we really broke through the puzzle. At that point, then I found this 4 here. Now this 4 is a little bit tricky too. We've got a 4 here. So one of these has to be a 4. We've got a 4 and a 4 here, so one of these has to be a 4. And using double row elimination, we know these two rows were done. And so one of these has to be a 4, and we had a 4 there. Have a 4 there already. So that's a 4. Okay, and then next one I put in was that four, and that's because we've got a four here, a four here, a four here, and a four here. That one's pretty straightforward after we found these two fours. And then we put this one in here. The reason I know that's a one is because there's a one here, and with this corner sidewalk here, one of these had to be a one, but since we already found this four, we know that's a one.
Okay, then found this one because we've got a one here already and a one and a one there. So that's a one. That's a one because there's a one here and a one here and a one here. And here we've got a one, 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 one. So we know that's a one. Placed a two there because we've got a two here, a two here, and a two here. That two is because we've got a two in these two columns already. Okay, how did we get that nine there? Well. Uh, that well, actually, this one's pretty straightforward. We got a nine here and a nine here already. Uh, another way I was thinking just a second ago is we've got six, seven twins here because they're the only two numbers missing in this box. So these are five and nine right here. But um, the, we can't really solve these five nine twins other than the fact that we know that's these nines are. There are nines here already, so this is a nine, and so we know that's a five right there. Okay, okay we know that's a nine because nine, nine, nine. got a 9 here because we've got 9 and 9 there already so that's a 9 okay now we've got a 9 and a 9 here and a 9 there so we know that's a 9 and if you remember we had four fours here so we knew one of these was a 4 so as soon as we placed that 9 there we knew that was the 4 and therefore we knew that's a 4 because one of these was a 4 and there's a 2 there already and these can't be a 4 because of that one and then therefore we've got a 4 here and a 4 here and we've got a 4 here already so we know this is a 4 And then we place that 5, because we got a 5 there, a 5 there, and a 5 there. Now you notice, um, before I fit, put this 4 in, before I found that 4, you could probably stop the video at that point and look around and see if you could solve anything else. And you probably have a pretty difficult time solving anything. But once I put that 4 in, and then these other two 4s, then I started finding more numbers. So that was kind of the breakthrough that we that we had in this puzzle, like I mentioned earlier. And we got a 3 here and a 3 here. So one of these two can be a 3. How do we know that's a 3? Well, we've got a T pattern right here. Um, so we and we've got a three in this column already, so we know these are ghost threes. So that can't be a three. Okay, that five is we've got a five here already in this row, so none of these can be a five, so that had to be the five. We get that seven. This one, um, we don't have any sevens here yet. In fact, we don't have any any sevens in the puzzle. But we know this has to be one of these has to be a seven. These are six seven twins here, and one of these has to be a seven because it's the only row missing in this box, and there's no seven in here yet. So we know that is a seven because we have ghost sevens there, ghost sevens there.
place that five there because we've got a five here and five here in these two columns already. And we can put that three in because we've got a three here and a three here already. Okay, now at this point, this puzzle's kind of interesting because we've only got we've got a bunch of block a bunch of boxes with two cells that are empty and every one of these this these two these two these two these two these two these two and these two they're all six seven twins okay uh, we can't solve any of them except for this one these right here because we're only missing one number here and we've got a seven there so we know that's a six and that six right there and then the, the following that six we got a seven there that will cascade through and we'll find all the sixes and sevens at this point so six seven six seven six seven six seven all right that, we kind of stopped there but we've got a seven here so we know that's a six seven six seven and then six seven so we found all those six sevens all at one time now the only thing left is a uh, uh, three five here, three five twins there, and three five six seven here. Now we don't know on the threes and fives up here. We don't know. We don't. These are we can't solve these three five twins here. And a th we got a three here, so one of these is a three, and we got a five here, so one of these is a five. So we're gonna have to go to the sixes and sevens to solve this. Here's a six, and there's a six, so we know that's a six. Here's a seven, and here's a seven, so we know that's a seven. Now we can solve the three fives up here. There's a five there. And there, therefore, we can solve these three five twins there. And that's it. All right. we completed the puzzle. Um, I hope that helped. Uh, I know there are a couple people that uh, commented and asked about this four right here and uh, I told them to uh, just hold off till I do this uh, answer sheet video and then I'll explain how that four gets placed. Uh, so and that four was right there the one I was talking about. So, anyway, I hope that helped. I hope you were able to uh, follow along most of that uh, on the pop quiz itself. But this should give answer all your questions. If you still have some questions, uh, uh, leave a comment on this video and ask that question. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.